Hi there, me, your friendly neighborhood humble stroke assaulter. So, I'm going to let you guys see a bit of a bad day. Um, I called into work today. Really bad headache this morning. Um, I finished taking my shower. No, you're not going to get to see a video about that. Um, and then I got a really bad headache. Really bad, really debilitating. So, just to let some of you that don't know what the post-stroke world can look like, I'm going to give you a little snapshot. So, this is me on not such a great day. Uh, yes, the hair is undone. So, Aries Dark, I know who you are. And my dad, unfortunately, I do know who you are. Yep. You're going to see the hair's messed up, and I really don't give five-eighths of nothing. Uh, so, Zulu Foxtrot Golf. That's all I got to say on that one. Zulu Foxtrot Golf. Um... Yeah, so today's a bit of a space cadet day. Um, feeling really out of sorts, really disconnected, very fatigued. I've been in bed for most of the day. Um, luckily, Tylenol 1s with codeine, a couple of those help take care of the headache. Um, yeah, so this is what a bad bad day can, can look like. Um, I feel shitty that I didn't go to work today because um, I'm trying to do everything I can to go to work and, and be effective. Uh, the headache is its hard to describe. Right? It's constant. It's really only like a, a 5 out of 10 on a pain scale, but it's just debilitating just absolutely debilitating um, you're gonna when you ha had a stroke and, and I'm not speaking for all the stroke folk out there just for me and people that I know that have had um, strokes like similar to mine they just happen there's there's nothing you can do to predict it there's nothing you can do to um, um, abate it there's nothing you can really do to to stop it it's it's gonna happen and there's n nothing you can do about that um yeah the headaches can be caused by a number of things this morning um first it's winter here in canada we've had some pretty bad snow and whatnot um i woke up this morning and i got out of the shower and i started coughing and sneezing really really badly and it just like like right up in here just exploded and I'm just like not a, not in a good space and, and I was ready to go to work like I'm like let's go get dressed and that's just not gonna happen so I called into work um with the no not coming uh and then I've been in bed most of the day so this is what a bad day looks looks like or what a bad day could look like not every bad day is the same day. Life, unfortunately, in a post-stroke world can be a bit like a bowl of bits and bites. Every handful is a little bit different. Um, so, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a snapshot of what a bad day might look like. Now, that being said, I'm not looking for pity because none's being looked for, nor will any be accepted. Um... It's not the goal of this this event here is attempting to garner pity. No, it's just just you guys get to see me pretty much um, um, switch switched on, right? Switched on. Um, you guys pretty much get to see me fairly coherent. I, I ramble occasionally. I'll, I'll give you that. Um, you guys get to see me, you know, pretty animated, pretty, so that's, this is the different side of the reality after a stroke is, uh, the shitty days. Yeah. The shitty days. Um, what you're getting to see is not the best. Right. And, and I appreciate that. Um, now, will there be detractors that are saying that I'm looking to 
garner sympathy clicks or, or whatnot. No, that's not the case. Because um, I'm not, not looking for sympathy. Sympathy is not a thing, again, I'm looking for. Empathy. Empathy um, is what I need from people to understand what you go through. Because there are people that will never really understand what this can be like. Yeah. And that, that's a shitty thing. Um, right now, my brain is pretty cloudy. Um, I have to think about getting the thoughts out, the being vocal. I have, it, it takes a bit of effort, as you can see. Um, that being said, I've noticed something today. Um, I have a new subscriber. In fact, I've acquired a few. Um, because I uh, watch a lot of YouTube now, <laughs> more than I did historically. That being said, let me just see here. Sorry, guys. Um, Carmological, you're a new subscriber from a day ago. Thank you. I, I'm pretty sure I don't know you, um, but I also notice, again, I'm not sure how you found me, but I've noticed that a lot of your, a lot of your um, people you watch have like thousands of subscribers. Again, how you found me, I don't know, but thank you. Thank you for joining this merry little band of stroke folk. Um, apparently, you might be stroke folk yourself or supporting stroke folk. If you are, just leave a comment down below so we can learn more about you if you wish. And if you don't wish to, you can always e email me at strokeassalter at gmail.com. You can email me at strokeassalter at gmail.com. So I've, gar I've garnered 63 uh, a week ago. I was at 50-something. Again, thank you all that have recently joined. I didn't mention you guys so much in the video I did on comments to questions. Um, sorry about that. I wasn't cognizant, mindful of that. So, um, just thought I'd do a quick video just to show you guys what a bad day can look like. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not fun because physically, there's n nothing wrong physically, on the fact that I'm very fatigued. Yes, coffee. Doesn't help much. Um, coffee is um, a welcome thing. Uh, so I've been in communication, and I'm not going to mention any names because I don't have any permissions to do that yet. I've been in communication with someone from my stroke group who's the parent of a 14-year-old young man who's had a stroke who's getting out of the hospital tomorrow. I'm, I can only imagine, and I'm just going to be honest here, I can only imagine how difficult it is going to be having had a stroke at age 14. I can't even imagine that. And... You are, I'm just going to give you a little dose of reality. You're in for a rough ride at times. The next three to six months are going to be incredibly difficult. Um, but surround yourself with good family and friends, people that are truly going to support you. And you'll, you'll get through this. It, there will be shitty days. There will be horrendous days. There will be great days. Just remember, the only easy day was yesterday, and the only better day could be tomorrow. Because today might be a bit of a shit sandwich. <laughs> so you may encounter days that are difficult, right? And if you're getting out of the hospital, um, you're about to go to rehab as an outpatient. There's, there's no difference there. Just one is they take you from your room to the gym. One is you go to the hospital or the facility to the gym. Physio will be difficult, and you're going to get tired really quickly. And you're going to be frustrated because there's things you could have done three weeks ago, like crack off 20 push-ups, and now you want to throw up after three. 
Um, you know, you're going to find things like maintaining your balance can be difficult, right? They're going to have the occupational therapist sit with you and, 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 and meet with you and, and do things. And the first time I had to do the, the assessments they made me do, it was like my brain was on fire. Just that's the only way I can describe it. And it's because your brain is doing th things it didn't need to do before your stroke. And so the brain is trying to remember how to do things. Um, you're going to get frustrated. You're going to be able to remember how to do things that you could do things, but now you know you could do it, but now you can't do it. You don't even know how. Um, you're going to get, you're going to be scared at times. You're just absolutely terrified. But ultimately, you're going to need to lean on people. And you're going to have to ask people to do things that you've never had to ask them to do before. And it's going to feel a little bit humiliating and a little bit humbling. Just ask for help. That's all I have to say. Just just ask for help. Accept it and be grateful. Right? Um, and eat your Brussels sprouts. Well, only if your mom gives them to you. So... Today's a bit of a shit day for me, and not every day is like this. They they happen. Um, they used to be really bad right after my stroke, and now they're every so often. Um, today was un unexpected. Not much I could do about it. Let's just be honest here. It happened. I'm just going to deal with it by staying in bed all day and sleeping off and on and watching YouTube off and on and whatever else. But that being said, for my 63 subscribers, thank you for joining this little merry band. Uh, for the young man whose mother I've been in conversation with, um, if you want to email me, you can find me at strokeassalter at gmail.com. I say again, strokeassalter at gmail.com right we can start a conversation um if you have facebook your mom is my friend on facebook you can friend me on facebook and we can talk there if you want right but ultimately if you know someone going through their own post-stroke journey or you yourself are going through your own post-stroke journey please like share subscribe right uh, you may get some something useful out of the content i'm working on learning how to edit still so that'll get better over time i'm going to be investing in a better camera soon so the video and audio quality will be better um i appreciate that once i get to learn how to edit and better video things will get significantly better um and you know thank you for sticking in as long as you have with the skills that i don't have and if you happen to see either in yourself or someone around you the signs or symptoms of a stroke, that being someone who appears to be befuddled or confused, they just don't know where they are, they, and they, they can't maintain their balance, and they're just out of it. Um, someone who's having immediate vision problems, that being, you know, they can't see out of one eye, they can't move their eyes properly, they see in grayscale, they only see the world out of a little, little hole. Um, someone who's having f facial droop, uh, someone who is... Um, Arms, arms. They can't keep their arms up equally effectively or at all. Someone who can't smile equally effectively or at all. Um, someone who's slurred or stuttering speech. Uh, they're using inappropriate word usage for situation or context. They can't maintain their own body weight. They can't stand unaided. They have weakness, general body weakness or weakness on one side. Please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple can save a life.